This is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. How to write better emails instantly. That's what we're talking about today. How many times have you clicked send on an email and then realized you forgot the attachment? The whole reason for the email was the attachment, and you did such a masterful job of explaining all about it. But when you finished that explanation, you thought, I'm done. So you clicked send only you weren't done. In fact, now you send a second email explaining you forgot to send the attachment. Or how about this one? You write your subject line, but by the time you get through composing the email, it's various twists and turns have caused it to stray far from what the subject line originally said. Well, to solve both problems, let's write the email backwards. Let me explain what I mean. First, Add attachments. If the email is going to have attachments, start by determining exactly which documents you'll send. Attach them to the new email before you ever compose a word. You've just eliminated the possibility of forgetting them. Are you replying to or forwarding an email and need to add more attachments? Well, if so, attach them before you craft the text. Second, compose the text. Go to the body of the email and say what you're going to say. When emails are long, people don't read them. So therefore, let the message resemble an upside down pyramid. Front load the message with the most important information. Let the details bring up the rear. The reader gets the idea immediately of what needs to happen. If your email is more than a screen and link, consider breaking it into two emails, each one's covering a slightly different subject. When an email is lengthy, maybe a phone call is a better option. Third, we're gonna compose the subject line. Now, look at the email that you've written and sum it up in a subject line that is as descriptive as possible. Can the reader look at that subject line and know what it's going to mean to him or her? Many times, you'll find that you can write the entire email in just the subject line. Avoid subject lines like important or meeting. If you want to show an email as important, you can use the exclamation priority symbol that your email program provides. Um, need your approval on this proposal by Friday. Gets the point across much better than a subject line that just says important. And can you attend the XYZ meeting on the 13th at nine is a much better email subject line than meeting. If we can look at the email subject line and know what action we need to take, then it's just human nature that we're gonna open that email and we're gonna take action. If you're replying to an email or forwarding one, is the present subject line still applicable? Many times it's not, so if not, change it to one that is, especially if the original one was important or meaning. And now fourth, it's time to address the email. You know, you can send an email even though you forgot an attachment. You can send an email if you forgot to put a subject line. You can even hit the send button by mistake without composing a word in your text but you can't send an email without a properly formatted email address in the subject line. The program just won't let you do it. So save that step for last. Proofread your email, double check that the attachments are there, and then as the final step, address it. And now you're ready to send. So write your email backwards. See if it doesn't help you escape some of those email blunders. Hey, if you liked this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check out these two other videos and have a look at others that are here on the channel. I'm sure that you'll find something that uh, helps your productivity go up and your stress go down. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.